All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Saturday, the 3rd of September. Had a whole lot of drinking going on here last month, just trying to wrap things up. This was our Vintage Aussie Tasting, which has become a yearly event, every six month uh, event. Uh, hey, we got so much vintage Australian wine. We are going to continue to drink it. I don't want to say till it's gone because man, I love this stuff. It's amazing how well these wines have aged. The top level wines from South Australia really standing the test of time. Well, our test of time anyways. We've been experimenting with these ever since Parker came out with his article, or the wine advocate rather, Jay Miller came out with their article, retasting all of the older vintage Aussie wines going back 10 years as a retrospective to see how they're doing. And a lot of these wines, uh, even they felt, you know, are, are holding and getting better, improving with age. As a lot of people thought, just because the high alcohol and the forward nature of these wines, they wouldn't age. Uh, the exact opposite, you know, as long as the wine is balanced, it is going to age. And a great wine, especially Penfolds Grains in 96, still young. All right, well, we started out with the 2001 Amon Ra, Ben Glatza wine. And this is uh, uh, the Shiraz 2001, a very hot vintage in South Australia. You notice that in the wine, definitely concentrated blackberry, blueberry fruit, notes of roasted coffee, violet floral nuance, black licorice, black earth, asphalt, really complex bouquet of aromas coming out of this. Still quite lively on the palate, lovely rich fruit here, and uh, smooth and velvety tannins at this point, really drinking nicely, but great acidity, great balance. This is a wine that's gonna hang in there for five, 10 or more years at least, if not longer, a most excellent bottle of Shiraz. Unfortunately, most of this stuff on this offer, we don't have anything to sell. All right, well, the 1999 Rusden Black Guts. Uh, this is uh, Christian Canuck, a good friend of the store, and uh, a great Shiraz vineyard. This wine showing a lovely thick black licorice spice, black cherry liqueur, really kind of lovely sun-dried quality to the fruit, dried tobacco spice. A note of eucalyptus and mint there showing as well. A bit dry on the finish. This wine, although having a lot of fruit on the palate, uh, notes of smoked meat and game and dark spice. Uh, dried out a little bit at the end, 1999, a vintage that's drinking really nicely right now from Australia, though. Excellent juice. The Torbic Run Rig Shiraz and the Barossa, strong licorice kind of component here and spice to the nose. Really floral, violet uh, perfume, blackberry jam, very strong aromatics, black tar, eucalyptus, really complex. Wow, big and chewy on the tongue. This was a wine that people either loved or hated and uh, really intense. I think that's what it was, that really black spice, of tar, and eucalyptus. Uh, kind of overwhelming for some people, but uh, nice bitter cocoa notes on the finish there, smooth, silky texture. This wine still has a ways to go, still showing a lot of fruit and uh, some tannin there on the finish. Most excellent though. The K Brothers Amory Block 6, a 110 plus year old Shiraz block from McLaren Vale. This wine, stunning. Uh, the 1998, some people may think it's starting to fade, but it showed beautifully this night. Our crowd loved it. Some, some of the tasters picked it as their wine of the night. Lovely black cherry liqueur-like fruit in the nose. Notes of kind of red licorice spice, fresh earth, tobacco. Starting to maybe dry out a little bit at the end, but, you know, still a really big wine showing some nice herb and mental nuances to the finish and lovely silky velvety texture there. 1998 Fox Creek Reserve Shiraz, another great McLaren Vale wine. This uh, wine showing some, a lot of fruit here, black licorice, blackberry liqueur, uh, lovely concentration, uh, bittersweet kind of chocolate note there as well. Ripe plummy fruit on the tongue with smooth silky tannins. Uh, still, you know, quite present there on the finish. This wine has got ways to go. Maybe drying out a little bit at the end, but both of these 98s showing really nicely. The 98, sorry, the third 98, the Noon Eclipse, a whopping like 16% alcohol. This wine, you know, to me, still lovely balance. You know, this is a proves that you can have high alcohol and still age really nice. Very forward and seductive on the nose, kind of smoked black licorice spice, bittersweet chocolate, black pepper, kind of flowers, really complex and rich and on the palate, shining through that blackberry kind of liqueur-like fruit and uh, lovely freshness though, still quite balanced even though a huge wine. A little bit of heat showing up at the finish. 1997 Clarendon Hills Australis. One of the great wines of uh, McLaren Vale. This wine showed a little bit of oxidation here, kind of a pickling spice on the nose. Bacon fat, meaty, kind of peppery spice there shown as well. Really nice bottle of wine, but you know, this was an off bottle, not showing at its peak, but still quite drinkable. 
All right, the 1997 Fox Creek Reserve Shiraz. This is a lighter vintage and a nice spice and dried floral aroma there on the nose to the red cherry and plum fruit, red licorice, still a touch of mint there as well, uh, still really fruity and a nice concentration and depth on the palate, maybe, you know, a little bit lighter than those 98s, but still nice balance and a nice kind of savoriness to the finish, excellent juice. And then the big boy, the 96 Grange, this wine's still a baby. This wine's got about 6% Cabernet Sauvignon in it. Like in most vintages, it's not 100% Shiraz. Lovely spice, brown sugar, black tar, and a sweet black cherry liqueur-like fruit. Lovely concentration in this wine. Black spices, licorice shown there as well. Really rich and fruity on the tongue. And uh, this wine still got a couple decades to go. The 96 Grange showing its heavyweight title champion. And uh, for me, the wine of the night on this evening. All right, coming up next, we've got Roland Dubai, a Bordeaux uh, expert, coming in with some Burgundy.